Hello, my name is Juliet Hayward and I'm basically talking to you today about the immune system. The immune system is this wonderful complex defence that we all have inbuilt in our bodies and never have we needed it so much as in these troubling times and what we need to do is really strengthen it and nurture it and it's good to understand a little bit about how it works. Uh, there's a whole array of cells that can almost be organised or seen in terms of an army and we can also divide the immune system in half uh, and basically uh, see it as, as having two sides to it. So we have non-specific immunity, which is where uh, the, the immune system is primed to attack anything that isn't self, anything it doesn't recognise. So, you know, considering anything that isn't self as a potential invader and a potential threat. And then specific immunity is looking at very specific threats. So the function is in the name. And it takes a little bit longer for the specific immunity to um, recognise the target and also produce sufficient force to actually attack the target. But I'd like to look in a bit more detail at what the immune system involves. So if we're talking about non-specific immunity, it basically comprises of many interesting cells. So you have neutrophils that are wonderful white blood cells that protect us from many things, many common infections. But then we also have lymphocytes. Lymphocytes uh, start off life in the bone marrow and then um, go down two separate paths. Some, some of them will develop into B lymphocytes, some of them into T lymphocytes. And then we also have um, uh, um, natural killer cells, which I find very exciting because they are very powerful cells. They're a bit like the SAS men and women of the immune system and they don't need lots of priming or stimulation to go after their target. So they are very exciting. Uh, over the years, as a nutritional therapist, I've really um, looked to really bolstering immunity, partly because I work a lot with cancer patients and want to support them. But I also work a lot with Lyme's patients who also have very uh, suppressed immune systems and need to strengthen it. But now, of course, we are now threatened with um, COVID-19. So we also need to strengthen our immune system, even if it's just against other threats that might weaken our overall defence. So I'd like to now look at some of the um, some of the potential threats we might have generally. So you know we can be threatened by mycotoxins, which actually can really reduce our immune function. They can be um, toxic to our genes, toxic to our immune system. Uh, it can be uh, carcinogens and we don't really want our immune system suppressed by mycotoxins at the moment but we've also got viruses of, of many different forms obviously we're not just talking about COVID-19 all of us are subject and exposed to viruses um, a lot of the time and we have bacteria, and we also have protozoans as well protozoans are not bacteria they're a bit larger than bacteria and it can be parasites and it can be free living so with all of these problems surrounding us and potentially um, uh, uh, causing us to uh, succumb to them we need to be strong so I'm really looking at what can help and many of the things I've used over the years uh, um, there have been many things I've used over the years so things like Biobran I've used a lot which is a rice bran extract which is also known as MGN3 I've used that a lot to really bolster immunity partly because it boosts lymphocytes both T and B lymphocytes but it also boosts natural killer cells I've also used food based selenium because that really boosts neutrophils, powerful cells. Um, and I also like to use certain herbs such as astragalus, which is very good for lung health and um, things like Japanese knotweed, a wonderful herb. 
But food is also important, so we mustn't forget food. So things like Brazil nuts, uh, carotenoids, carrots, chilies, all the wonderful orange vegetables such as squash, sweet potato, um, carrots, pumpkin, it would be lovely to load them onto the plate. Also things like rocket and watercress, although they are not orange, they are also very rich in carotenoids and really help to bolster the thymus gland, which produces, which is a really important part of the whole immune system. Mushrooms are important, even the very humble mushrooms like button mushrooms, they also have a role because they're full of beta glucans, but I would go for shiitake mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, what some of the exotic mushrooms are particularly high in beta glucans, which are great for bolstering our immune system. And I would also go for the berries. Berries are rich in vitamin C, fairly low in sugar, so they would be wonderful things for you to load onto your plate. So I hope I've given you some ideas and empowered you a bit and good luck and keep safe.